Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Bossman and this is Bossman v. Wozniak. This is the weekly stream in which we try to take down a score that Steve Wozniak sneaked into Nintendo Power many years ago. Was it 1991? I mean, I can check right now. Yeah, 91, baby. Um, I uh, have to show you something. The way we begin every stream. Tetris, the original Game Boy cartridge we're emulating tonight. It's sneaked. Feel confident and sneaked, everybody. It's the right word. And I will be using a USB iBuffalo controller. Um, this is week 48 of 52. Uh, this is... We're getting down there. What is that? This is the eighth week down, right? We'll have seven more after this one. Um, pretty intense. Pretty intense. Uh, and so we have limited time left. And here's the thing. Another thing just to get you prepared for tonight. Traditionally, historically, we have never done well after a break. Uh, logic error eight months in a row. And our most recent break was two weeks as opposed to one week. Uh, this is not going to be a good night at Tetris. Let's just get that out of the way now. Maybe we'll have some good stuff happen. Maybe we'll have uh, some fun times and some neat things might happen. By the way, MJ Vergman just subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, as well as Jaffe for 15 months in a row. Um, but don't expect us to break our high score you know, don't don't expect that too much. Uh, it's pre E three tomorrow morning. We're gonna be starting E three. It's, it's EA's press conference for some reason on a Saturday. And so, uh, you know what? I'll pitch all that later. Let's get into it. Let's start playing some Tetris now. Um, I'm holding down on the D pad. Oh, a little loud for me. Always. Bing. And now we go to A-type. Uh, I like B-type music for now. And we're going to level 17. I know it says seven, but we are simulating level 17 with our little heart over there. Oops, most important part of training. We need to summon Usain Bolt. Usain, please. There he is, okay, great. IGN changed the game trailer's logo, cool. It was, to be frank with you, never a good logo. So good on IGN. Maybe it was okay. It's simpler now. Yeah, that's what it needed. I think one of the scariest things you could do uh, if you're like a video game coverage media place, uh, Tyrant Cross Toast, eight months in a row, um, is try to look high tech with your logo. My advice to you would be just don't. Don't even attempt it. Don't go the high-tech angle. New GT logo is so boring. Hmm, man, maybe I gotta see this. Hmm. Nice. It's just too early for a logo change, no way. <laughs> it's been over a year. And I mean that logo, oh, this might be the end of the run right there. That logo's pretty old. How about a score update, chat? You know what, no, 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 no. We should only do a score update when it's the end of the game, otherwise I'm gonna be too worried about it. What logos do you like? Fantastic question, FedEx. Sorry, Ith, Ith, Ithusella. 
sorry, that was a confusing one for me. Uh, just subscribed. Nice. I'm sorry, you're holding out for Lord of the Rings? Remaster for tomorrow. Tomorrow's EA. So, uh, no way, right? No, you won't see that tomorrow. Um, oh, because EA made those old games. No, WB's got that license. I think that we'll never see remakes of those. Which is not fair, because I've said that about all the NES Capcom games. But I think if it does happen, if you do see a rem remaster of the PS2 era EA Lord of the Rings games, it's going to be years from now. It's going to be like so old that people don't care about it. Frog Prince just subscribed. Oh, cool. A little pun. A little pun on that name. Oh, you didn't make me lose, uh, I, I was I was well on my way to dying there anyway. Are you excited for the new Bubsy game? Not at all. No. Uh, there was nothing within that trailer to convince me that this was a game worth bringing back. But hey, it was just a trailer. Mumble, Mumbleton. How many months? Fifteen. Max. Kyle, I saw you do some crunches on Twitter earlier. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, when I mean when I say crunches on Twitter, I mean not responding to tweets, but coming up with new tweets. You know. Though, yeah, I'm, I have to admit, I'm not even really good at responding to tweets. Oh. And my least favorite thing about the Bubsy thing, and I think you all know this bothers me. I think I've been over this a thousand times. Okay, I'm not mashing well tonight. This is bad. I'll do 18 one more time. Um, because you know how much I hate Looney Tunes. This idea that Bubsy's been alive this whole time and some sort of actor and when he's in the video game, he's just acting. That kills me. Why? Why do that? What interesting thing do you think you have to say about the biz where it's worth it for Bubsy to be a living actor and for every video game we play with him uh, is simply a movie that you're telling as opposed to having any actual stakes that any of this could be actually happening to the character of Bubsy. Oh. Oof. Makes me so mad. You gotta see that press release. Okay, 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 okay. I'm doing bad. I got cranky. Mario is not just acting in Mario 3. Do not listen to Miyamoto and what he says in hindsight. If you look at the development of that game and the art behind that game, it's not a play. It's just something he decided to say later. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a play. Don't worry about it. Oh, there we go. Too cute. The refs are up to shenanigans. Why are they trying to make it close? so loud. Crank it up, dude. Sorry, I should move this. 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 this. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Kyle's noisy neighbor is so appropriate. 12 months in a row, you now have a gold A. And you are in full effect tonight. No, I shouldn't say full effect. I'm still grateful they're not playing guitar, right? Oh, Joey, you're too clutch, dude. Oh, man. All right. I'm seeing some very bad signs of Kyle not being ready to play Tetris tonight. Gotta get my mashing down. Let me do one more. Best Harry Potter game. So far, I like the PS1 games. Of course, Kyle loves PS1 games, but I think they might be the best. But I'll, tr I'll play more in my time on this earth. I know I gotta play the Game Boy Color games. And I know you like some other ones more than I like them. But those PlayStation 1 games, they're solid games. Collectibles matter. It's got a story. It's got adventure. A fan just got ejected from the game. Oh, it's getting bad, isn't it? Golden State's gonna win this game. Ugh. Ugh. It's so gross. They want that history. Okay. It's all yours, Stefan. It's all yours. Grab the history. 
Oh, oh no. Oh no, I was doing so well. Okay, alright. You know what? We probably just need to play some actual Tetris. We probably do. You can change your bet. It's not too late to change... Yeah, it is, actually. I'm gonna lock him in. Sorry, now it's too late. Training's over. That was your time. Close bets. Too late. It's too late. Jaspones! Just subscribed. Cool, Jaspones. Alright, let me, um... Uh, reload. Tetris. There we go. Kyle, what do you think of PS4 Gold Limited Edition? I think it's really cool. I think it's a pretty cool thing. Oh, Mr. Bolt, we won't be needing you anymore. I'm sorry, as you saying, I didn't do well for you tonight, bud. Ooh, and we gotta pick a new track. Let's do it. So we got an A-type, but we got a music off, and then we go over here. Alright, I gotta vet it. Okay. This checks out. This comes to us from Lord Dreg. Okay. Kyle, hype for the new Dragon Ball Z fighter. Absolutely. Absolutely hyped. I'm ready for a trailer. Absolutely. But I think there's just no way that it will be bad. I think there's no way that will be a bad game. Oh, did I not say? Sorry, this is um, Streets of Rage. This is some Huber time. These are some Huber jams from Lord Drag. Oh, I was having such a good time. Okay. Should have clogged earlier. Should have clogged earlier. Now I pay. Okay. All right. Fun Tetris. Good job. Um, Kyle, who would be your main in a Dragon Ball Z game? Um... I'm thinking about this deeply. Hold on. Who will, who will be my main? I think you're all right. I think a lot of people guessed it is. I think it is Vegeta. You know, I was trying to be like cute and think of like some obscure character, but I like. I really like Vegeta. So, like, why play around? Why, like, be cute and creative when, like, the truth is you would just want to play as Vegeta? A little dirty. A little dirty, that one. That was PG-13. We let that one slip. It's like Jones says, you get to, you get to swear once in a PG-13 movie. That was our one. No space for you, Z. No more Z's. Nice. Cavs up 19 at the end of the third. Thank you. I'm still scared. I'm still terrified. I think they are too. That's the thing. I think they are too. They're, they're up so much. They're having a great game. But if another... Five three-pointers can come out of nowhere, you know? All right, let's see if we can do this. Can we do this? Nice. Is Kyle betting on the game? It sounds like it, right? I'm not. I only bet on E3 and video games. Kyle, it's not you can swear once in PG-13. 
It's only one particular word you can say at once. Okay. I'll buy it. Like, what's with... Like, what's with Batman? Dropping the S-bomb in Batman v Superman. What's with that? Kids are watching that movie, man. Kyle, will you go see Despicable Me 3 in theaters? I think it's likely. I think it's totally likely. Um, I have a group of friends who also love the Minions. You know, we saw the Minions movie. And all it takes really is that one person to say like, hey, are we, are we doing it? And then like feeling it out, you know? All it takes is that one person. So if that one person pipes up, it's gonna happen. If not, no, I'm not gonna go by myself to see the Minions movie. And I certainly don't think anyone from, sorry, Despicable Me 3. I don't think anyone from Easy Allies is gonna see Despicable Me 3. Kyle, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being very afraid, how much do you think Huber will creep out famous game devs this year? Hmm. I think that the chances are low. I think that Huber doesn't have the same enthusiasm uh, that he had for Vandenberg that as like any other game developer. You know what I mean? So like it would need to be somehow another Vandenberg would need to appear out of nowhere, and I don't I don't see that happening. That's a rare rela relationship you saw between those two. Uh, Mikami, I hear you. Like, Huber's got respect for Mikami, but, like, he saw a kinship in Vandenberg, you know? It, w it was definitely more than just, like, I like the games you make. It was, oh, y you're me. Amplified. Mm. Yep, I did the math wrong. Bad math. That's a bad sign. Telltale signs. Telltale games. Okay, I'm gonna dump both these boxes. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. <laughs> Huber is Vandenberg's stand. It might be the other way around. It's hard to tell who is whose stand. This is a good run, don't stress. I'm not, like, stressed. I'll tell you I'm very not stressed. I'm kind of resigned to not having a good score tonight. Um, I'm very much stressed about everything else. So actually, I can, um, I can tell you all now what's up for E3. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff for uh, the Keeley production, because it's actually a lot of overlap with... Um, live with YouTube gaming and so for a lot of Sunday I'm gonna be over there doing some segments to be honest with you still not positive which ones um, and press conferences I think I'm gonna be at Ubisoft over there um, but again those things change constantly um, so my schedule is, I'm going to be Easy AHQ for EA tomorrow, for sure. I'm moderating that one. Oh, blah, that runs over. Needed a Joey. Uh, got an L. Um, yeah, I'll be around for Sony. I'll be around for Nintendo, for sure. I might be around for Bethesda. I might be around for Devolver. And I think that's the ones I'm going to do at Easy Allies. Keely killed the run, yeah. You missed two subs. I gotta be honest, I'm gonna miss subs during Tetris. I can't hit them all.
Kyle, is there any kind of EZA meetup this year? Uh, no, there is none actually. I talked to Jones about it and um, we're simply too busy. We can't make it happen. Jones thought about making it happen and just like couldn't. So we'll have an EZA E3 stream without both Jones and Kyle. There'll be, I think honestly for press conferences, Jones is not gonna be there for any of them. Yeah, which kind of stinks, but also like it's, you know, we gotta get out there, spread awareness, spread easy allies, and also we get other people on the table. Gotta take turns tabling. Um, I'm going to uh, research break real quick. Uh, I'm gonna keep this music playing in the meantime. So I'll be right back, everybody. Again, he's back again, back again, he's back again, back again, back again. Okay, let's we'll pick a new song. Hopefully I'll be able to, uh, you know what, sometimes it just, you have to go do some research and then you're a little better at focusing on Tetris. So hopefully we're about to have a good run here. Ooh. Now this is a cool pick. This is from Battletoads and Double Dragon, the crossover game. The likes of which we've never seen since. And this comes to us from Stray Bead. Uh, personal best is what? What did we get to? 510 last week? We broke 5. 500. I, I can't remember what the actual score was. Five ten. Chat confirms. That's our PB. Come on. All right, fine, Tetris. Yeah, it's all yours. It's all yours. You want to play like that? We're fine. Will you grease some palms? No, I'm not much of a palms greaser. Not a very social person. Kyle, can you tell us how you feel about cold-blooded steaks? I like them. Um, I realized later they're techni technically against the rules, uh, because the rules state that your bet cannot involve any- your stakes cannot involve anyone other than your competitor. You can't force anyone other than your competitor to do something, but this is in a realm of its own, you know? It's not like you and Huber have to stream a thing. It says, I'm s freezing the timeline, which is kind of- it's- a thing that I would have never considered when I was writing the rules. So I think he might be fine. Um, I think it's cool. I think it, I can't imagine higher stakes. Ultima Brad fighting for his very existence. Didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
give me boxes, give me boxes. Yeah, uh, playing Disney Tetris last week was bad practice because it was so much more generous. This Tetris is just truly vile. It's a vile form of Tetris. It's algorithm. Despicable. tell you why I have a hard time getting into a Christmas story. Um, it's like, it's seriously, it's like near the beginning. It's Ebenezer Scrooge sees a ghost. I'm gonna keep going. That's just a sucky run. And he's like, no, 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 no. This is just indigestion. This is like a bit of sandwich I had. And like that justification to me was always so weak and nonsensical that like I can't get into this world of like fancy British people, I guess. And like are they did they have this? Did any of did any of them experience this thing where like they had a sandwich and it made them see ghosts? A Christmas story is the other one, you're right, a Christmas carol. Pardon me, everyone. So, like, I can't get into it. I can't, like, I feel like it's a story that's not for me. I feel like it's a story for, like, people who, like, get that. Ooh, we got a little double-double. We're hanging out at Tim Hortons. Okay. All right, Tetris. You're vile. The sandwich is the problem. No, the justification's the problem. Like, is that is that line for laughs? Tell me that, chat. Is that line there for laughs? Was it meant to be funny at a, a certain time? That Ebenezer Scrooge would see a ghost and say, No, 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 this is simply my sandwich. This is a this is like a bit of sandwich that got lodged into my stomach. It's a reference to the fact that eating food before bed gives you nightmares, so he just thought he was dreaming. Again, like, it doesn't, though. It doesn't. Chat, does eating food before bed give you nightmares? Are you all eating little sandwiches before bed, and then, like, when you see a ghost, you're like, nope, this is because I ate food before bed? I don't think so. Let's try Charles Dickens. Why don't you try writing some humans next time? This music adds, uh... It adds some, like, spark to my rant. Kyle, you're seriously throwing shade at Charles Dickens? Obviously not. None of this is serious. No, I mean, the part about me never getting into it because of that part is real. Like, as a kid, I'm like, I would, it would throw me off. Immediately. Right from the start. I was like, this play is not for me. I'm getting wise vibes. This might likely be wise, actually. Chat, who developed uh, Double Dragon versus Battletoads? Is this wise? So Rare developed it, and we can confirm it's wise. Nice. Good on you, the person who picked out wise from the base. Very impressive. Who 
cool. Some wise deep cuts. I would have never thought to think, listen to this. Ooh, I'm doing bad math again. Um, speaking of, like, prejudging music, uh, you know, we had a road trip to the anime convention that was myself, Damiani, and Brad, and that was hours long. What was that, a five-hour drive? Maybe six? Um, Damiani took control of the music, and of course, it eventually led to uh, Final Fantasy XIV music. And, you know, I'm like, I'm rolling my eyes, like, give me a break. Of course we're gonna listen to this. Damiani, of course we're gonna listen to this. Here's the thing. Final Fantasy XIV music is, turns out, incredibly good. <laughs> really good soundtrack and I was just kind of floored that an MMO would have such good music such effort behind the tracks in it um, opened my eyes big time and Damiani told me the story of the composer just a person who was kind of waiting for his chance for a long time and when they were rebooting 14 they said, here, please take this, and he ran away with it. He said, yeah, give me that. Let me do this. And boy, did he ever. Just some, some of the craziest tracks. Totally dug it. Really, really fun. Fun trip. was actually my first smart decision of the night, everybody. And that was me truly adapting to something. I made two dumb mistakes in a row. Mars Spars, two months in a row. Thank you so much, Mars Spars. So what do you do here? You get the Tetris and then start worrying about the other mess. Okay. There it is. There's our Tetris and now we can start worrying about the mess. the time gaps between press conferences. I hear you, Dark Knight. Uh, Bethesda's like, that one sucks. And then on top of that, Devolver being like, you know what, we're gonna be after Bethesda, the latest press conference of all time. 9 p.m. Pacific time, there's like, you know what, all right, we'll take 10. It's like, what? There's a whole day in front of that. Why are you, oh. I'm mad. I'm, I'm peeved about that. Devolver, you could have had the whole stage to yourself, and they're like, no, 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 no. We'll go. We'll go after them. We'll go after them. Nice. Oh my goodness, that double, double Sweeney loving. That was really good, Sweeney. Wow. I did not see how better score is. It's whatever. I'm going. It's basically our first run. I know you want me to bail, chat, but I'm not dealing it. I need the practice. Oh, nope, now we're bailing. Yep, all we had to do is manage... Uh, uh, yeah, we're bailing, we're bailing. The pieces are bad, the pieces are bad. We're bailing, we're bailing, the pieces are bad. Okay, alright. Christine draws 13 months in a row. Kai, you should listen to Sawbones podcast, learn all the bad medicine we tried. What? What does that mean? What is Sawbones podcast and what is all the bad medicine you tried? Okay. 
Has anyone ever played Pluck? P-L-O-K! Exclamation mark. The suggestion comes to us from Jet Jet. It's a medical history podcast. Cool. Plock is a game I've definitely seen the box art for and never played. So this is cool. I think Plock is... Ooh. Is this the same track? Yeah. Whoa, Plock. I think he's an ugly character. I think Plock looks real dumb. Dang, this is cool. The NBA game soured me. Kyle, please pass 500k tonight. Uh-oh. Did Cleveland lose? You gotta tell me the final score. yet still going all right then what's going on Cavs up 20 with four minutes left what's wrong why are you sour it's all good baby this is a very cool song by the way business with technicals and stuff all right yeah I mean there's a lot of emotions running wild for sure Kyle how do you request a song again so you just do exclamation point song in chat uh, and then include a YouTube link there are two rules essentially there's more rules than two um, it's got to be longer than 15 minutes and it has to be from a video game it has to have been inside of a video game. No remixes, no uh, covers. Um, it has to be legitimately from that. Like, we're listening to Plock. Is Plock sound when you're playing Plock? Uh, that's because we get flagged otherwise on uh, Twitch. However, there are also, for some reason, some video game soundtracks that get us flagged despite being straight from video games. Um, Castlevania. Symphony of the Night, for example. Carly, you doing a local recording? You know it, baby. Just in case. Just in case those... What's this game called? Plock. Those Plock lawyers are after us. No Disney, no Scott Pilgrim. Thank you, Stephen CT. Shadow9246. Just subscribe. Thank you so much. Yeah, we are getting some dumpy pieces. I forgot how mean Tetris is. This is why we're always bad after a break. Like, you forget that this game is war. Tetris on Game Boy is so mean. <sighs> you cannot play around. My strategy's been whack all night. I, gotta own, I own up to that for sure. Kyle, who wrote Explaining Persona is impossible to him? You know I wrote all those intros. It's like my favorite stuff to write.
Nice. Nice, 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 nice. This song is so good. It is good. So is, is um, Plock like a PC game? No, it sounds like a little too good. Super Nintendo, no way. Cool. Like this right here? Sounds sick. Yeah, I'm impressed. Plock, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, stack them up. You give me these pieces, I'm going to stack them up. Goff Sensei so disappointed. Mm, we can still hit 200. Composer Tim Fallen is awesome like that. Tell me what else Tim Fallen has do, done. Because, yeah, this is seriously some next level stuff. This is cool. Can we get to 200? I don't know. He does unbelievable soundtracks for terrible games. That is such a cool little thing that, like, to, for that to be your thing. Yeah, that's too good. So what you're seeing here is I have a lot of really good opportunities, but I was not using them because I wanted to get to 200. This time I'm doing it. I'm going to keep playing it up. Just having some bad runs tonight. It's going to happen. It's been a while. Mmm. Mmm. Tetris, you're so mean. Just non-stop Z's and boxes, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's yours. Have it. It's all yours. Wow. Alright. Alright, Tetris. Dang. Just kills me. Just straight up like, okay, and now I kill you. Ooh, good, 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 good. Next one clear too. Thoughts on the rumored release date for Super Mario Odyssey? I believe it's November something. Exactly what we expected. Yeah, that's perfect. Can we not count this week? Nah, this counts. This counts because next week will be better. You know what I mean? When Once you take a break, you have to come back and have a bad one. It's just how it works. Okay, so this one comes to us from Neuromod. And this is Casino Night from Sonic Generations. Kai, would you say this week's Pokemon Direct gave you Hashimoto at PSX 2014 vibes? Sure, um, sorry, I gotta turn it down a little bit. Um, yeah, it seemed out of touch. It seemed like they don't know what people want, and like you said with Hashimoto, I still believe that Stars is in production. That Pokemon Stars is a thing that's coming eventually, not this year. And they just didn't want to uh, announce it. Okay, alright Tetris, good job. Um, announce and release it yet, reveal it yet. They think they have another good year in the 3DS, and they think that people will want to buy Pokemon Tournament. I think they're going to be right about Ultra. I think that will still sell well again. I think they are wrong about Pokemon Tournament. I do not think that will sell well. You're streaming the day after E3? What, endurance? Yeah. Yeah, I figure, like, what, it's two hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> 
A lot of the guys are like, week after E3, that whole weekend, nothing. Nobody do nothing. It's like, yeah, I get that, but like, also like, our job is just streaming video games. Great track, by the way. Man, I wish that I did a better job on that plot track. We could have listened to plot for like eight more minutes. Don't you think the Pokemon debut on Switch should be something better than a sequel to Sun and Moon? Yes, but I don't think it will be. Wow, Sonic Generations. This is good. These are some live musicians, like, playing their hearts out. Not bad. For Casino's Night, too. Casino Zone, how cool. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. My bad. I see, yeah, I know. I see where it should have gone. We're doing fine. We're still gonna make it to 200. We're doing fine. Dang, this is good. Sonic Generations. Nice double double Tim Hortons, watch out. We're taking all your coffee. Oh, that's sick. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Cool. That was weird, but it worked out. I can't complain. I can't complain. Early, clog early. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean. Nice, get that Tetris. Yeah, I think that uh, basically one thing I have not been doing tonight is making sacrifices to keep it clean. I think that is a big flaw in my play tonight. Again, we are getting trash to work with. That was nice, just one dirty line, that was cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The lines came, they came, thank you, Sweeney. Gray Matter, for the win? No, for TW. Gray Matter for TW, that's for the win. <laughs> Just subscribe. Thank you so much, Great Matter. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. Is it a good level that this song um, links with? I can't imagine this being a gotta go fast level. Kyle, what are the chances of destroy all human sequel at E3? Mmm, 20%. Who owns that now? This was music for a pinball table pre-order bonus. 
Ouch. <laughs> Alright. So then not that relaxed and cool. Is your bot exclamation point SR? Only Tony P can answer that. Tony P is the creator of the bot. Kyle, were you a little disappointed you were streaming instead of watching Warriors Cavs? Uh, no. I'm not. Uh, I mean, maybe if it was Game 7, I'd be, like, wanting more updates or something. By the way, our first, like, good exit of level 10. And we're one hour into the stream. Good grief. All it takes is one, buddy. Alright. Yeah, I could listen to this song for hours. Which is funny, right? Most musicians don't have to worry about that. Hey, does this hold up over hours? No. Nah, dude. Yeah, I set up a Joey. Ooh, it paid off. Joey, thank you so much. Clutch forever. Uh, that's really interesting. I'm sorry I missed your name. Someone brought up how <laughs> when you hear Warriors and Cavaliers, you only think of Fire Emblem classes. That's pretty cool. Is that re Yeah, I think that's accurate, right? Pretty cute. Okay, let's actually, let's pump the brakes. We're gonna start coasting now. This is another dramatic adjustment to my game that has really improved our scores. Learning when to coast. So slow, so slow. LeBron James. LeBron James. about it. Clean up crew. They're pros. They've seen it all. <sighs> oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Stop all this. Stop all this. Oh, it got really fast. Not ready for that. This is why we hire Usain Bolt. <sighs> Good grief. 
Yeah, I know what you're up to. That's why I buried it. Yeah, we'll take that three. Oh, it's even two even. Yeah, nice. Keep it clean. So the T was clearly supposed to go in the middle there. I don't know what I was thinking. Killing your Tetris. You're rude. You're a rude boy. Ah, oh, bummer. Uh, staying alive more important now than elite Ted's. <sighs> too fast. You're too fast right now. Oh, 19's too fast. Okay. 430, it means we're improving. It means we're gonna have a good run later. We're gonna we're getting better. We're getting better. 400k is now like when Super Saiyan became nothing in Dragon Ball Z, yep. <clears throat> Turns out all you have to do is like make your back tingle when you're Super Saiyan. Not a big look. It's like, hey, squeeze your back muscles and make them tingle, and then you become a Super Saiyan. Yeah, I'm putting that in. You know I'm putting that in. It's been a bad night. I'm, I'm proud of this. Yeah, we're putting our name in. Oh, we even get a GIF. We have a GIF. I mean, look, I know it's not a huge deal, but we, it's, we still gotta put the GIF up. Yeah, you know what? I think the 400k GIF is still better than the 500k GIF. It's fine. We see it more. Okay. 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 Let's uh, let's pick a new track. We're gonna have a better run now. This is gonna be a better run than the last one. Man, so many like dirty pieces, huh? Okay. This is Primitive Force. Gain ground from Project Cross Zone. This comes to us. Are more. By the way, Renegade, 15 months in a row. Oop, the GIF is still up, isn't it? I never remember to turn off the GIF. Boop. All right. Again, Project Cross Zone. I can't ever see myself getting into it because it's like none of it is happening. You know what I mean? When the Battletoads fought the Double Dragon guys, or joined sides, that happened. That was canon, and that's sick. That's a meaningful crossover. When a bunch of video game characters are like, hey, we're in a world that's imaginary, I'm out. I don't care. Have fun in your imaginary world. None of you are going to grow in here. None of this is going to mean anything to you after you leave. Like, good. Good. Just have fun in Project Cross Zone. What about Smash Bros? Yeah, can't care about that story. Though, I don't mean, I've talked about this with Damiani a bunch of times. It's why I love... Yeah, 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 keep it clean. Um, nice. Sweeney pays us for being clean. Um, I love the adventure mode of uh, Smash Bros. Melee because it's got a weird story with weird context. And I'm able to like imagine a story for those characters. But yeah, Smash Bros. isn't an RPG with 
story. You know what I mean? Like, in Project Cross Zone, that's like the primary thing leading between levels is like, oh, now we're here and we're meeting this person. Right. Um, if Project Cross Zone is like a straight up melee type game, absolutely. That was Brawl? No, 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 no. Brawl's story mode sucks. I hate it. I hate it big time. And they worked so hard on it and spent so much money. And they wouldn't let you upload the cutscenes because they thought they were precious. Double box. Okay, that paid off. That paid off. Beautiful. I really liked Emissary myself. Mm, I hear you. To me, it definitely suffered from that none of this matters scenario. None of the surprises are shocking because none of it's real, you know? No stakes. Hmm. Nice, 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 nice. That's some tapping. They call me Cap'n Tapping. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we'll start whittling away. Jake Tapper over here. Chat, how come we don't talk politics anymore? What did I do? Is it because of me? Alright, so we're gonna have to turn this three-liner into a Tetris. We have to. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, just give me more of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want more. I want more. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do that. Just for my sanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to be done. hungry. Mm -hmm. It'll be your downfall. Mega Man? What are you doing here? I don't know. Where are we? <laughs> You're in the cross zone. Oh, alright. No, Mega Man, if we don't stop the bad guys, uh, this whole world will end. Oh. So, guys, don't worry about it. This world isn't real, it's okay. <laughs> oh, come on, Mega Man! I'm hurting right here, I'm losing HP! Like, you're not. You're not. You're not gonna die here in the cross zone. You're fine. Come oh, on, Mega Man! Use your powers, dude! Like, it's okay. I'm gonna take this one off, alright? Could use a break. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice, hell, that was nice. That was nice for us. I think we can still hit 200k. I didn't realize how bad our score is right now, though. I didn't realize it. That sucks. Another bad run. Yep, yep, nice, nice, nice.
Yeah, baby. Who said bail? Everybody adores sticks. Get out of here. We did it. will be lost this year. Mm, in the 300s. A large number of wits. Good move, Kyle. Good move, finally. Making moves. Paying attention. Thanks, Adam's art. Thanks for the encouragement. not Jake Tapper right there. Hey, did the Cavs win yet? What's going on? Why is that game still going on? Basically, I'm like pretty sure they're going to lose. I thought it was going to be... They won by 21. Great. I thought it was going to be 4-1. That was my bet, you know? Amongst friends, no money, no money, just a, just an among friend bet. Um, and like, at this point, it's just like pure Schadenfreude, sh pure spite that I didn't want um, Golden State to have that like little record where they're like, we're the first team ever to get all the way through the playoffs without losing a game. It's like no, you're not, you're not, you don't get to have that record. Look, you're still the greatest team of all time. But that record's not yours, and like that's enough. I'm such a like a hateful person that like that feels good. It's not right. Everyone hates Golden State. Well, no, on the radio they were talking about how um, Steph Curry sells more jerseys these days. Everybody likes Steph Curry because they can relate to him. Because he's not huge. He's like a normal-sized person. I could be Steph Curry. I could grow weird little facial hair like that. That could be me up there. Boy, all the women would love me if I was Steph Curry. This sucks. I really fell apart there. We got some nasty pieces and I fell apart. Dang. Dang. Kylie or the Steph Curry of Tetris. <laughs> uh, very, very important Chris. Nine months in a row. Hey Kyle, what do you think of Tom Holland being Nathan Drake? Love and respect. Absolutely. I think that's a good way to make the movie as opposed to like making an uncharted movie like the games that we've played, you know? Ooh, that's actually, that's above 300. We'll put our names in. Kyle, Valbar or Clive? Mmm. I got some bad news for you. Mm. Oop. Oh, Curse of Boss. Neither of those guys were in my uh, end team. Neither of them. Dropped them both. Valbar's like zero resistance. Get off my team, dude. No. There's just no space for you. We don't need you. I have plenty of other people with high defense, man. You have no benefit at, at a certain point. Ooh, Super 3D Cow. Brings us a little, some Sims music. Latin Jazz 1. Was this long enough, by the way? Yep, cool. Kyle, what's the number one thing you're most excited to see at E3? 
Uh, definitely Spider-Man. Kyle, when you say on the radio they said Curry sells more jerseys, are you specifically talking about Colin Coward? Yes. <laughs> it has to be. I think he was. I think that was his conversation he was talking about. And you know he loves LeBron too. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. Some Sims music we've never had before. Kyle, are you excited about the return of Alex Hunter during the FIFA presentation? No. Next. Next question, please. Ooh, Sims. Hey there. When did we become like a little jazz appreciation club? Peter Moore, he's gone. Yeah, the best, the most entertaining guy there, he's gone. Since Wise. Wise opened the door, we just became Jazz Appreciation Club every Friday night. Everybody bring your vinyls. See, I don't think I should have put. Ooh, okay. That worked out. I don't think I should have done that, though. Just because it worked out doesn't mean it was the right choice. Probably no Aisha Tyler, I heard that. I heard that Ubisoft will be hosted by game developers, which is kind of cool. Hey, give them a shot. We know Vandenberg can handle it. Not a double-double. Mmm, cool. Nice. That line came at the perfect time. Okay, hey. Hey, good run right now. Let's blow it. Let's ruin this somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ruined it. I wanted the Tetris. That's on me. Because I, I think we can work our way out of it in a creative way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're alright. Hosts for E3 conferences are bad. I hear you, because I think Sean Layden did a really good job at Sony last year. And you're right, you don't really need you don't need too much. But I do think you need someone rotating it around. Like I said, Sean Layden did a good job last year. Like he was the host. He was absolutely hosting that show. Just like Phil Spencer will host Xbox. Not what we needed. No thank you all. Let's try to do something crazy here. Will this work? Nope. I think it needed to be one more over. Oh well. It's not bad. This is bad. Enough. And that box would have been so nice if I didn't put that line down there. I've lost my wits. Kyle, chance of us seeing the mana collection for Switch in the West. Hi. Hi. I think. I don't know. I think hi because people like brought it up on Twitter, you know? They're like, why don't we get this? To me, that's like enough. If you get tweets, marketing managers see tweets. And they're like, oh, I had no idea people wanted that. It's not a very popular franchise in the West. Let's give it a shot. Let's find some room in the budget. Kyle, chance of a Tim Tam Slam during coverage. Um, I'll say, uh, not high, actually. I think we're, it's not gonna happen. 
I think it will happen. I mean, it's not a bad chance, but I just... Look, it's a 40% chance. There's no simple way to say this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to do there. So I did the worst thing. This run sucks. I hate this run. Let's just... Let's just bury this now. The moment I said, let's ruin this, it's never been the same since. What's the chance of dead space at EA's press conference? 4%. Kyle, did you ever play Secret of Mana? You'd like its vibes. Never played it. There. We got a Tetris again, you dumb game. Now what? Now what? I got back to Tetris Zone. Kyle, what's the chance of a VIIR demo being attached to Dissidia? What is VIIR? What is that? I don't know. What is VIIR? Okay, have it your way. And with that, we're bailing. Just wanted one more Tetris. I actually think we could have gotten to 2k, couldn't we? 200. With one more Tetris. We could have had two more Tetrises there because it was five more lines. We could have had it, but you know, it was ugly. It was really, really ugly. I shouldn't have given up, but I was, I was mad at the run. I was mad at the run. It was wrong of me to bail on that one. Chat, is Persona 3 music okay? When we play Persona 5 music, everybody gets mad. Is Persona 3 music okay? I'm gonna play it, I think. Whoa, Otoshigami knew it in three notes. Okay. Alright, I think we're okay. I think this is gonna get us muted, though. Oh, well. Let's get muted, baby. Live on the edge. Oh yeah, this is gonna get us muted. I'm not playing this. I'm not playing this. This makes me too scared. Cause here's the thing, I was able to upload the other version. I last time we got muted, I was able to use my local recording. That was so annoying, and I don't want to do that during E3. I don't want to do it. Uh, I really just don't, I don't want to have to deal with that again. Not during E3. Whoa. Wild Arms, Alter Code F, Filgaia, Overworld theme. Sorry, True Friend Lab, sorry about that, that's just me. And this comes to us from Interface 23. Kyle, is Saber too cool? Nope. Saber has lots of doubt. Ooh, Wild Arms. Hey now. Some Western stuff right here. This is cool. To be honest with you though, I only know Saber from Fate Zero, and I haven't seen any of the other Fates, because to me they all seem lame. Um, you know, you watch Fate Zero and it's like heavy and, uh, of course it's about a tournament and so I'm in, but it's about like these adults who have been like training their entire lives for this tournament and getting ready. 
And then you're like, oh, okay, cool, let me see the sequel to that. And it's like, high school kids? And I'm like, oh, alright. But then they're like, doing high school stuff. Pass. It's such a weird, like, tonal shift. For some reason, Fate Zero, this prequel, is like, way more interesting than the stuff that comes after it. Kyle, you're killing me. Nah, you know Fate Zero is the best. You know it's true. High school nonsense is 10% of Fate Stay Night. Hmm. I'm gonna question that. I'm gonna question your math. Kyle, why do you hate Bugs Bunny? He's horrible. There, what do you like about Bugs Bunny? Bugs Bunny's, like, devoid of good jokes. You know what I mean? His jokes aren't about, like, humor. His jokes are about, like, bonking people and making them feel bad. Bugs Bunny looks at the camera and smirks at you and says, I'm just an actor. None of this is happening. <laughs> Isn't that wild? What if all of us cartoons are actors? <laughs> Shut up. That's not interesting, actually. <laughs> oh, Bugs, come on, man. Hate him. Hate him so much. Ain't hey, I you stinker? Yeah. You're a stinker. And he's so proud of being a stinker, too. There's nothing to like about Bugs Money. I don't trust you if you like Bugs Money. I know that there is an aspect of your character that I will clash with if you like Bugs Money. <laughs> That's harsh, Kyle. It's just the truth. Just the truth. We're not gonna have a good time if you like Bugs Bunny. Man, this is a good track. Daffy is better anyway. Yeah, Daffy is way better. Daffy is a character. Daffy gets frustrated. Self-conscious. I mean, Daffy... Daffy sometimes, too, will dabble in the, uh... I'm just a cartoon character. He'll do it. But maybe not as gleefully as Bugs Bunny does. Bugs Bunny takes pleasure in peeling back that curtain. Just a certain self-satisfaction in himself. I bet you thought this was happening. It wasn't. <laughs> Shut up, Bugs Bunny. Stop that. I care about this movie. I care about the Monstars, I care about Michael Jordan, I care about Daffy Duck. Mmm, these pieces. Have I seen Wonder Woman? Absolutely. I like Wonder Woman very much. That's a good movie. I'm sorry for doubting it. I was making fun of that movie for a long time before it came out. I 
I thought it was going to be so stupid. And then I was the fool. Yeah, Gal Gadot for sure. It's like good because of her. I'm not, well, I won't say like she's the only like good part of it, but like it could not be good without her. She's LeBron James. the triple box. Not the time. Okay. Oh, I read that wrong. It's okay. We're gonna get out of this. Another bad run, though, huh? Buds. I hope Kyle gets married and then one day his wife whispers into his ear, I like Bugs Bunny. You slipped the ribbon off her neck. And she just says, I like Bugs Bunny. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Let's deal with it now. From the day you met her, she always had this ribbon around her neck. And you're like, come on, girl, what's that ribbon about? What is that? And she says, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what this ribbon means. But then, like, you really get to know her, and, like, it gets pretty serious. And one night, you've both had a couple of drinks, and you say, come on, really, seriously. What is that ribbon about? What is that? And she says, I really, I cannot tell you. I'm serious about this, and honestly, if it's going to be a problem, we can break up. And you weren't prepared for it, either. Like, you didn't know it was that serious, and you back off. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal to you. And you're like, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. And then months later, yeah. You pop the question, <laughs> you know? You're, you're ready to get married. You say, will you marry me? She says yes. And later that night, that night even, you're like, okay, you know, now that we're about to get married, do you think I can find out what the ribbon's about? She says, no, please not bring it up again. I will leave this relationship. Yeah, okay, fine. Months later, though, you do get married. It's time. And even in her wedding dress, she's wearing that red ribbon around her neck. And you're used to it. Honestly, it's not a big deal to you. But still, there's this curiosity burning inside you. Ooh, that's so dirty. That's so dirty. That's so dirty. And so, on your wedding night, when it's finally time to hump, 
you turn to her and you say, look, I can't actually. I can't do this knowing that you're holding a secret from me. I can't give you this part of myself without knowing 100% who you are and who I am. She says, okay. She grabs the red ribbon. Unravels it around her neck and it's a long ribbon. And her head just flops right off. And beneath that head is the head of Bugs Bunny. He turns at you and grins and says, Ain't I a stinky? Ain't I a stinky? He burrows into the ground on his way to Albuquerque. You weep alone in your bed. Bugs Bunny got you again. Got me again. Not prepared for level 20. Air GG, I had no idea we were at level 20. I had no idea. <laughs> that is a bit I got lost in. I had no idea. That tune though, Wild Arms 3? Y'all said? Cool. I dig it. Not a bad score. <laughs> PJ equals bugs for sure. For sure. Now let's keep going. Let's keep playing Tetris. I'm ready. It's the night before E3. Yes, I have work to do, but like, like I'm gonna sleep tonight anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Checks out, checks out. Armored Armadillo stage, and this comes to us from Wouse. Oh, this is too hardcore. This is good. See, as opposed to Plock, this one you can point to and say, oh, Super Nintendo. You know what I mean? It just sounds like it. Plock really blew me away. Kyle, do you wish you never forced your hand on the ribbon and just continued life with her? That's that whole story. That's what that story's about. Man's curiosity. Sometimes you're going to have a better life not knowing. Kyle, do you think Ian got the desync to work? Let me tell you, everybody, we had some test trials today at Jones's. Our new uh, thing that Ian was always talking about came in, like a black magic broadcaster thing. And we broadcast in secret for an hour and 20 minutes and had no sync issues. Now, am I promising we won't have sync issues tomorrow? Obviously not. Stuff always comes up. However, we did everything we could in our power to fix it. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. And so I, I feel pretty good about tomorrow. I feel pretty good.
EA is a good test. Low stakes, right? Star Wars, baby. No way, it's gonna be one of the best. This is the year they finally get it right. I guess as long as we're getting Tetris this year, I'm gonna keep it going. Yeah, this is a good pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's gonna win Ultimate Brad versus Cold Blooded? I think uh, Ultimate Brad made too many three point bets when he went to uh, the <laughs> Calamitous. Nope. The Degenerate Quartet. Um, Cold Blooded made some super dumb bets, but I mean, those are two each, and I think it's very likely Ultimate Brad could end up losing a lot of points because he just went three on everybody. That was unwise. Damiani threw one way betting for Wolverine. I don't think so, Brian Fedo. I think we're going to see some new Marvel games. I mean, obviously, you can see, like, the bets I write for, as traps. That's a trap bet. I expect people to think they're smart and say no. But I totally think we're going to see Wolverine 83. Did everyone see? See what? Easy Allies, what's going on? The Yokotaro tweet. No. Hit us up. Also, just stop from complete sentences. It's gotta be Damiani. You know that kind of delivery is Damiani only. It's a Damiani exclusive. Crew is on point tonight, like all night long. I've been making some heinous mistakes, but Cleanup Crew has really been pretty solid. Near collection confirmed. I don't even want that, to be honest with you. It's alright. Not the kind of stuff I get hyped about for E3. It's clearly fake, okay. What a weird announcement to fake. I do think the fakes that are designed to make people disappointed are funny, inherently. That's a funny thing to do. Nice. People want a near remaster. Yeah, but like Automata is just like a better game. The story, baby. All right, you're right, and you know I care about story. Yeah, I got greedy. That was stupid. I want a Tetris. We got it. We got that dirty Tetris. Paid off, baby. This is a game for gamblers, isn't it? Is that why I like it so much? Did you hear me talk just then? It's bad. So yeah, we'll get another Tetris on the right side. Nice.
Gosh, golly gee whiz, you wish. It's because I don't like your lame mirror game. That's fine. That makes you the villain. Nice. Someone quick, what's the gambling Jolie? <laughs> what is that? Uh, has Angelina Jolie ever been in a gambling movie? Which one's the gambling Jolie? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, beautiful. Clean it up, clean it up. Mm. Is Beowulf a gambling movie? Nah. Greystone, 10 months in a row. I don't think Beowulf really gambles too much. To Beowulf, he's he's rarely ever taking a risk. To the character, anyway. Like, he might be taking a risk, you know what I mean? The chances of su her survival are as great as we know them to be. Sorry, aren't as low as we know them to be. So, I don't know. I wouldn't call Beowulf a gambler. Nice. Thanks, Sweeney. This is such a good pick. What a track. What a track. Take a while to clean this up. That's not gonna help, Kyle. I know. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, thank you, Sweeney. Thank you, Sweeney. Waluigi Lucifer, what a name! Thank you for subbing. Dig it. I dig that big time. Thank you for subscribing. It's an honor to have a Waluigi Lucifer as a sub. That's too great. <sighs> I'm floundering out here. The speed is too much, and I'm like, I'm getting crushed by it. Definitely. Speed is too much for me. Bummer. I was not reading that correctly. Disney Tetris also let you move the pieces around after they landed. Which, I mean, most modern Tetrises do. I missed that a little bit.
Prepare for level 20, thank you. Thank you for the tip. I still blew it. Oh, I just couldn't do it. Couldn't get it over there. Couldn't mash fast enough. Mm, yeah, I shouldn't have built. I, I knew I was at level 20, I was handling the speed, but you know, you can't build like that. Ebo Show, 15 months in a row. Surprise Thunder Part 2. Someday. Terrorzord just subscribed. Thank you so much, Terrorzord. You're right. Somehow that turned out to be a good run. I think because we got to like 16, 17, 18, and I was still like in Tetris mode. That was cool. Let's do some more runs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm going to do a little research, and then we'll do some more runs. I'm ready. I'm ready to do more runs. E3, who cares? I'm ready. I didn't realize how loud my neighbor's dumb movie is this whole time. Isn't the strat at the high of a level to leave the middle open as well and build up the sides? Easy allies, you have so much to learn. <laughs> no. Uh, traditionally, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. And even in the Tetris documentary for uh, NES Tetris, that's a legit strat for level... I think they go beyond 20, right? They go to like 40. Um, for Game Boy Tetris, no. Not the case. Uh, Game Boy Tetris Damiani has less height. Um, it has less space to move around in, actually. It's crazy. It's got its own dimensions. Unique dimensions. Unique dimensions. Let's put a high score in there. That girl has some unique dimensions. I like to show up in her mentions. You're welcome. Hey, look, it's just a start. I thought that kind of like uh, that Joseph Gordon-Levitt website, maybe we can collaborate. So you take that sample, maybe you add some stuff to it and then post it up and then someone else can take that and make a music video out of it. And then someone can take that music video and uh, show it to some kids. And then those kids can be inspired to make their own music and then I'll make a music video about that inspiration and then maybe we can take that and turn it into some kind of chalk drawing it's all collaborative it's all about remixing we're a remix culture okay let's pick a new track what is that website called does anyone know what joseph gordon webs what his website is called jgl Hit record. Ooh, you know I love it. Bagen Chukung. Undertale OST. This comes to us from Weed Thin. Let's have a good run. Yeah, Undertale OST is so always so good. This is a this is a good OST.
We did this one before. We absolutely did. I got no problems with playing it again. A little L heavy. I think we restart the run. Too many L's. Not enough Joey's. We've done this at least three times. Sure. Hey, you know what? We got our favorites. Okay, again, restart. It's all right. Uh, Damiani, you're insane if you think there are any Game Boy Tetris tricks that we're not already completely aware of after 47 weeks. You're a maniac if you think that there's like anything left for us to discover. Does this version of Tetris give an all-clear bonus? It does not. It doesn't even give you T-spin bonuses, they just happen. Which is kind of a bonus in itself. Feels good. Game Trailer's Best Soundtrack Award was robbed by Assassin's Creed. Oh, Assassin's Creed beat this? Dang, I'm doing bad. Nice, thank you, Sweeney. Appreciate it, bud. Nice. Okay, and then we're all back to normal. Ready for new Tetrises. Yeah, cool. Tyrese, nine months in a row. Cool name. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Jeez Louise. I was holding out for the right piece a little too long. There it is. That's cool. If you can get to that point at level 9 where you can like play around up top, it feels good. You're at the right level there. Donald is sweating, yeah. Donald would be losing his mind up at that, at that level. Donald Duck, everybody. Please, no politics. Necessary. We had to. We had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to. Keep it clean. Keep it nice and clean, baby. <laughs> oh, chat, you're good. You're good. Best in the biz. Kyle, did you know it's Donald Duck's birthday today? I did not know that. Does Disney celebrate Donald Duck's birthday? Do they do something at the park? That would mean something to me if they did. Beautiful. Let's call up Jones and ask. Cleanup crew on point. Doing what they can despite the odds. Tetris is just like, I heard you wanted a rude awakening. Here it is. I shall rudely awake. Slumber. You take two weeks off, I'll hurt you. I will 
hurt you. Do you think we'll see another athlete at EA's press conference? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. I'll take that bet. No, they're doing NBA Live this year. I don't know. I think so. I think we're seeing season athletes. Lady athletes. We definitely don't call them lady athletes. Can you imagine? Just like, and now for some lady athletes. <laughs> We're women! The lady athletes, ladies and gentlemen. So ladies, you play sports too, huh? Y'all like sports? We're including you this year, so... It's good. It's good for you. You're moving on. You're moving up. Congratulations. Yeah, Wonder Woman, it did big. It was big, so... Welcome ladies. Lady athletes, everybody. Isn't that wild? Alright. So back to Madden. We're adding these lady athletes to Madden. Now they're not as strong as the other players, but they're faster. Okay, so I think we actually put this on the right just to keep things clean. Oh yeah, we're fine. They can't throw the ball as far, but their tricky stat is higher. And now what we this is something we're introducing this year is that the lady athletes can be quite tricky. Uh, they can plan schemes that the mm, male athletes uh, wouldn't see coming. Here we're demonstrating the the lady athletes. Uh, Passing a pretend football. <laughs> and there, yes, you see the men falling for it. Now this is going to cost a lot of Madden points to pull off. Ooh, oh, level 12, really? Alright, I guess I should just cool off. Yeah, level 12. For every second your lady athletes are in play, it, you're going to be burning Madden points. And of course, you can purchase Madden points and you can earn Madden points. We wanted to give the gamer the option. There are two ways to purchase uh, Madden points. Uh, one is just straight through the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store. Uh, the other is redeeming vouchers at 1-800-Flowers.com. Uh, if you order some flowers for your mom, you're going to get some Lady Point Madden Points. Sorry, did you say Lady Point Madden Points? That's correct. So that is the official terminology. I've just been updated via my earpiece. Uh, we are calling them Lady Point Madden Points. Go! <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. There's only eight more minutes left in my presentation. EA one E3. Yeah, I just I don't know, I think it was ballsy that they were willing to push the lady athlete stuff. 
Because it's cool, it makes sense. Like, ladies wouldn't be good at football, right? And so they would have to find ways to be good at football. And so, like, I'm into the tricky stuff. I'm willing to plunk down some dollar bills to, like, see what kind of silly stunts I could pull off. There was one, did you see it, where they strapped some rollerblades onto the other wide receivers? Yeah, that was hilarious. And that's the thing, is it's, like, funny. It proves that ladies can be funny, too. So, yeah, for me... EA wins E3 for the next four years, probably, until the other guys catch up. Yeah, I hate to say it, it's true. They came in and they blew us away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm slamming again. I should stop slamming, right? All right. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it's weird, chat. I don't know where the satire is pointed in that one, right? I think it's like... <laughs> it's pointed at overcompensating of trying to include women? It's complicated. Not a simple bit, is it? <laughs> Can't wait to see who Kyle is targeting tonight. <laughs> and then it's like, wow, this one's... I don't know about this one. Who's he making fun of here? <laughs> like when he makes fun of Bugs Bunny, but this one seems like... Is he making fun of feminism, or is he like making fun of, like... SJWs? <laughs> it's like... It's not clear to me. <laughs> oh, right. Alright, chat. Look, I just played Tetris. It's a tricky bit. It's a very tricky bit. It took a lot of Madden points to do that bit. Kyle Focus. No, no, no. This run's dead, too. This is not a 500k run. I needed that line of forever ago. Mm. Kyle, no belief. You're right. I mean, the pieces didn't come. Enough Madden points. If you figure it out, <laughs> if you write it out, you can figure out where the guns are pointed and write a final boss one bit. I think you're right. I think there is something there, right? All right. Um. Yeah, let's do another one. Should we? All right. So we'll do one more run, and then a. Uh, uh, one more final run after this, so we're talking two more runs. Yeah, yeah, we'll do some Tropical Freeze after this. Oh, talk about Jazz Night. This comes to us from Flint Paper 557 This is Mr. Frustration Man from Crim Fandango. Soundtrack bot is not rigged, but it, you know, just had a bias tonight. Yeah, this feels good.
Yeah, yeah, nice track. I'll be honest with you, I downloaded Grim Fandango, the remake, and I just couldn't get into it. It's tough. It's tough to get into this game. If there's just... It, there was so much going on in it. Okay, that's... I made a mistake. That's a reset. Um... I think just I was, like, very quickly overwhelmed. And I mean, like, you know, it just... I don't think I've ever liked... Well, that's not true. There's a lot of PC adventure games I like. It's just I'm not good at it, you know what I mean? I think it's a skill set. It's a particular time, type of game you can be good at. <laughs> it's a difficult game. Chat confirms. Yeah, it's rough. Rough game. But I, I think there's something pretty cool about that, right? The game makes you earn it. Super Nintendad just subscribed. Awesome. Great name. I liked goblins when I was a kid for some reason. Hmm. I don't think you need a reason to like goblins. That makes sense to me. They're cool. Chat, what does Pepsi Fire taste like? Asks Art of Alec, and I'm also curious. Let me know too. What does that taste like? The official cola of the Nintendo Switch. Cinnamon, yeah. Yeah, I know it's cinnamon-flavored, but, like, what does that soda taste like? Bad. Goblin. <laughs> tastes like goblin. If you say tastes like goblin, I'm gonna want to try it. Tastes like a fireball alcohol, but with no alcohol. Yeah, last time I was at um, Taco Bell, they had spiked Mountain Dew, non-alcoholic. And like, spiked means alcoholic. That's, that's what it is. So it's like, what's the pint? Mm, all right, all right, you gave me a bunch of S's, I see. I see what you did. And I made a tower spike, so look who's laughing now. I think I got it, chat. I think that I found lady athletes, the term lady athletes, to be, like, uniquely condescending in a, in a very humorous manner. And so I tried to really figure out why that is so funny to me. The idea of EA during this press, their press conference bringing out what they call lady athletes is humorous. It tickles my funny bone. Hey, is this run, like, dead already? Mm, no, we can do it still. <laughs> mm, I'm still a little sick, too. It sucks.
Everything Kyle says with this music makes him sound like a very strange investigator. So really, the thing I don't get... And the reason I can't ever get the Christmas Carol is that, like, why does Ebenezer Scrooge have to make up this weird excuse about the sandwich he ate? Please, dude, no one's ever had a sandwich like that. I cannot relate to you. <laughs> right up at the top. Touch in the sky. We're fine. We can touch the sky. For the day I die, I'm gonna touch the sky. Does he say baby girl after that? And is that why I say baby girl so much? Baby girl. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. Yeah, I think he says baby girl. Oh no, Kanye West is one of my... Like, what is it when you're inspired by someone? He's one of those for me. I'm inspired by Kanye West. I have to like come to terms with that. That's like, that's real. Ooh, that's so dirty. Idol, muse, no, no. Inspiration, I guess so. Kanye West is my inspiration. Sure. Influencer? No way, I'm an influencer. That's my job. The things I like, other people will like. Pay me to get people to like the things that you want them to like. Ugh. Oh, what a run. I will influence them into liking it. <laughs> it's not as vile as it sounds. It's nothing like that. We're all just having fun. I'm an entertainer, first and foremost. But I will influence them into liking the thing that you're paying me to get them to like. I can be very persuasive. When I like a thing, you might find your sales spike by 300%. I have that kind of outreach as an influencer. I have a genuine personality that people are attracted to. So what do you say? How about $15,000, my friend? And I'm gonna make you a star. Ooh, all right, all right. Hey, what's up, guys? I saw the funniest play this weekend. It's called A Christmas Carol. Now, here's the dopest thing about this. Starts off with this super funny rich guy called Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> he sees a ghost, dudes. <laughs> He's like, Yo, was this my sandwich? <laughs> it's just super funny, super relatable. <laughs> and you can go see the show tonight. Highly recommend it. And you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend something I didn't love myself, everybody. I saw this play and I was blown away. There's not just one ghost. There's like four ghosts in this play. It's such a good play. And that's the thing, it's all about Christmas in the end. Okay, 
And that's it. That's the run. That's the run. Wrap it up. Dang! I was so close. So close. Grapefruits again, Grandpa. Explain that to me. Explain that to me. <clears throat> Kyle could easily adapt some of his bits into script. Yeah, I know. I know, Chad. This is like, this is my best material, is the stupid stuff that just plops out of my mouth during Tetris. Spend all week stressing about Box Peak. Nothing good comes out. Remedy, five months in a row. Um, all right, so let's do a final run. Let's do it. Beep, 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 Okay, this is uh, David Wise. Kyle, have you played Pepsi Man? No. I don't think I ever intend to. It's fun to watch, but I don't think I'll ever play it. It's from Drop Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and this it will be our final run of the evening. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, getting to 450k, I'm cool with it. That's not- that's like, amongst our bad run nights, that's pretty good. Kyle, how much of the Microsoft press conference will not be gaming related? Uh, very little. I think they're gonna go hard on gaming. Big time. Phil Spencer knows what you want to see at E3 this year, I believe. Had to do it, had to do it, had to clean up, had to clean up. Ah. I don't, don't want to reset, I kind of want to reset. kind of want to reset. We're still at no Tetris, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 fine, fine. Have it, Tetris, all yours, bud. How many times will we hear t uh, Microsoft say teraflops? I think that's a really good bet, and I'm ashamed I didn't think of it. Uh, my answer is four. One time is a better bet, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know how, mu how much they're gonna spend on the nitty-gritty of Scorpio. It's, it's cool. I mean, it's why I said it's one of the ones I'm most excited about, is that it is going to be... It's the biggest question mark, right? It's the most dangerous. New hardware. Microsoft clearly loves it. They're very proud of whatever Scorpio is. Framing the chips, you know? Industry-leading chips. Will Todd Howard say that Skyrim Remastered looks best on Scorpio? No, but Todd Howard will be there in that press conference. I got a good feeling about that. He's always there, right? <laughs> they always just bring out Todd Howard to talk about a new console. On either side. You gotta get that Todd Howard clip. Oh, David Wise. I wasn't even ready for this. I was not prepared. Oh, man. Imagine just being the person who works on the credits, you know what I mean? It's your job to program the credits and make sure they scroll and everything. And you start working on them months in advance. You start working on them a lot for like a while. And you're asking the music team, just, hey, is the track going to come in soon? And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll get you that track soon. It's like, okay. And you're working for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then one day this shows up. 
one day you're sitting at your desk and your boss says, I hope you're ready. And you roll your eyes like, oh, what? Okay. You put this track on. And your butt melts. Like, you just, you're gone. You just, you're wiped away. Mm, we're gonna get a lefty Tetris here, I think. Nice. Ooh, that is filth. I hope the kids are sleeping. We're going late. Well, that was fine. We're going late. That was pure filth. That was so good. That was some good final run stuff. <laughs> Chad, I think it's funny that uh, melting butts is as dirty as the stream gets. A little too bloom. Hey, bud, come on. No melting butts here. Come on. Clean it up. I think of like a comedian, a traveling comedian, set up at like some college in Wisconsin. It's just like, hey, is like, is there anything that people generally aren't cool with, like any type of material they're like, you know, not comfortable with, the stuff that'll just bomb? Uh, no, pretty much you can use any language you want. Um, I should say though, if you have anything, if you have anything about melting butts, like don't. I'm sorry? If you have any like if you have any like melting butt stuff, like don't 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 bring that here. We generally like don't like that kind of comedy. That's like That's on my reel. Why would you bring me here if you didn't want to hear my melting butt stuff? Um honestly, you know, you weren't the first person we asked. You're cheap. Um, and I, you have other stuff than melting butt stuff, right? Yeah, but that's like, that's like the root. That's kind of like what I go back to. Look, it, the melting butt stuff is like sprinkled throughout my entire routine. <laughs> I guess I'll have to try something new tonight. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, hi, hi. So you know, I'm come. I'm come from New York. That's where I'm from. Uh, you know, this time of year, uh, it's, it gets super hot. You know, you ever just like, um, you ever sitting in your chair and you're like, oh. uh, you're like, shoot, this is, this is a hot, hot, this is a hot chair. Okay, uh, you know, I'll move on. Um, you ever like guys? Guys, uh, you ever like you ever like talking to your girlfriend, and you know she's just like, uh, this matters more to me than it does to you. You know what I mean? Uh, it could be anything. It, it, it could be like you know doing laundry, and she's just like, this matters more to me than it does to you. And like honestly, it does. Like guys, like <laughs> we don't care about like what laundry detergent we use, right? He gets some laughs. People laugh at that. He's, he's like feeling good. <laughs> yeah, because like honestly, one time, one time, uh, I was washing my underwear. You know, that's always weird, right? Like when you're when you're starting a relationship, right? And uh, it's time to wash your underwear, and you like it's guys, guys. It's like nasty, right? We all got some nasty undies, right? So uh, you don't want your you don't want your girlfriend to see your your underwear. And so, like, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do my underwear laundry in secret, right? Like we all do, we all know this. And so, you know, I, I sneak away, and I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to draw any attention, but I need detergent. And so, for some reason, the laundry detergent. And this is my girlfriend. She's insane. She's got the laundry detergent, detergent right next to the hot sauce. 
the crazy hot hot sauce. And so when I'm trying to be sneaky, I'm not even looking. I pick up the hot sauce, right? And I clean my clothes with hot sauce. And you know what that makes. Um, it, um, yeah, just, you know, basically, uh, when, when I use hot sauce to, um, um, when I use the hot, when I used the hot sauce to clean my clothes, um, it, it came out all red. And so, like, I had, uh, red underwear, so... That was embarrassing. Okay, win him back. Win him back. Come on, Leonard. Come on, you got this. Um... <sighs> no, I got other stuff. I got other stuff, everybody. So, I mean, obviously, obviously, you know, living in New York, it's different. It's different than living here in Wisconsin, right? Right, it's very different. You know, it's, it's so expensive to live anywhere, you know? Oh, for the, for the price of my apartment? You know, I could live in a mansion out here, so... Uh... That's the thing, you know, I, I'm always living like an apartment. We got rats, you know, the rats have names, everything, you know? It's, it's, it's seriously, it's that bad. All the rats have names. All right, everybody. <laughs> Didn't have it in me. <laughs> Didn't have it in me, I was, you know what? I think I've been spent for like the last hour. <laughs> Chat, I gotta be honest. The idea of a comedian trying not to make jokes about melting butts, that tickles my funny bone. <laughs> what a stupid bit. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright. It's good. It's good to have fun before E3. Lowers the stress levels. Okay. Sorry. Let's see who guessed 451 this week. Let's see who did it. Who got closest tonight? We bet. We make bets. Chat, I'm so glad, by the way, that I've been able to pull you in to my degenerate gambling. That you're you're able to place bets. Ooh. Tonight's winner is extremely close. We haven't had someone this close in a while. Tonight's winner is only 21 points off. That's pretty incredible. Um, right, okay, nope, just like that, nope, and right there, great, okay, but don't make it visible, we're good, I think we're ready to go. All right, so we're going to go to B-Type, and we're going to see the Buran. We never finished the stream without checking out the Buran. Buran James, is that something? Buran James? Buran James! That's not something. All right. Uh, B-type. Let's go back to A-type music. Let's go to level... People just saying no in chat. <laughs> People just saying no. <laughs> All right, chat. All right. Okay. You're not wrong. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Thought we could stack higher than that. That's alright. Nasty pieces here, too. Good grief. Got it from here, chat. <laughs> oh, stupid. I was stacking. Yeah, I blew it. It's gonna be hard to get this one out. It's not gonna be easy. Joey? Welcome. Welcome to the party, Joey. Mm -hmm.
Joey, you're too clutch, dude. Oh my goodness, Joey. Joey Wheeler. What a pro. I'm trying to take it super easy now. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this run now. Just take it, dude. Just take the line. Whew. That. That was cleanup crew at their finest. That was crazy. That's worth watching a replay. That was insane. That was some good stuff. That was some good B type. And Bill, 3202, 21 points off. You are a soothsayer. You see the future clearly. You might as well have been right on the money with 21 points off. You knew. We take two weeks off, we're going to hit 451. You knew it. And for that reason, you are the one who pilots the Buran. You are the one who goes to space. And you are the one who sees more of the future than any of us back on this planet. So Godspeed and congratulations. <laughs> Alright everybody. Well done, Bill. Well done. That's gonna do it. That's the end of the stream. Advanced Wise. Nine months in a row. Is that a David Wise reference? If only. Um, everyone. Uh, let me do some explanation about what's happening this week so if we look at the canon how many barons are in space it's a good question a lot there will be no there won't be 52 because i don't think we did the baron for the first few episodes absolutely jesus nine months in a row every baron in the, out there is canon everyone that we sent out is still exploring space uh it's not like a new universe each time uh, Kyle, who are you rooting for in the betting special? I haven't decided. I haven't searched my heart on that yet. I'm excited for either outcome and nervous about either outcome. Having to beat Dark Souls 3, we almost told Brad no. Like, that's having to beat it and stream it and cosplay it in three months, I think he gets. That's rough. Maybe it's four. I think we bumped it up to four, but that's still, that's crazy. Kyle, did you watch that game? No, I was streaming for the last three hours. I didn't get to see the game. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Five months. He gets five months. Okay, that's that's a little more reasonable. That's more reasonable. Blood is skilled enough. Yeah, but that's like a, it's a time sink, you know? Um, okay, so... Why not check out patreon.com slash easy allies to see what the easy, easy allies are and how you might be able to support us because believe it or not, it is not just this one person that does weird stuff while he plays Tetris. It is nine people who do weird things. I don't think at this point there is a normal ally left. I think that we've been exposed enough for long enough that we're all, all weird. We're all weirdos. There's no normal guy left. Um, so, listen, I don't want to let that detract you because you might say, like, what, I'm going to support a bunch of weirdos? No, that's not the main appeal of what Easy Allies is. Uh, the main appeal is we all care passionately about video games. Uh, the weird stuff is basically why we need Patreon. <laughs> Because if we relied purely on YouTube, we would die in, in three months. Um, <laughs> but yeah, check out patreon.com slash easy allies to see our tiers and how we can, uh, uh, what we can do for you in return for what you do for us. Cool stuff. Uh, check out easyallies.com to see our upcoming schedule because we are going hard on E3. We're going nuts on it. In fact, it starts tomorrow, I believe, at 11 a.m. with our E3 pre-show. Let me know, chat, if that's wrong. DXL Core, eight months in a row. And for every press conference this week, we're going to be doing a one-hour pre-show um, and a one-hour post-show. Mostly. We're going to try. You know what I mean? There's some overlap and weird stuff. Um, 
We're going hard on all that stuff every single night of the show, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to be streaming live uh, from Jones's Garage, covering the things, the news and the games that we got to play at E3. We'll be doing live podcasts, live programming, uh, live chats, and those tend to be intense and joyful and uh, crazy. They're crazy. We lose our wits every single night during E3. Uh, and so there's lots to look forward to right here on twitch.tv slash easy allies. And so that's basically it for the promotional section. It is now time to read a poem. So uh, there's a book of poetry called Boston v. Wozniak, Poems of Tetris. Ooh, I'm pull it back a little bit. Uh, this was made entirely by viewers of Boston v. Wozniak. And what we do is we take the final two numbers of our high score, in which case 77. Is there a 77? I think we just barely get there. All right, the number, there's no numbers on these pages, so i got to start doing some counting. Okay, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77... Yeah, okay. So this looks like, this one's intense. Here we go. Yes, yes, that counts. Okay, so this one is simply called Twitch v. Bossman. This comes to us from Jared Orozco, art by Brennan. Is that right? It is, okay. But there's no art on the page in particular. It looks like, um, it looks like a play, frankly, that I'm about to read. Yes, here we go. This is a dramatic poem. Our main characters are Judge and Kyle Bossman. I'll try to differentiate them with voices. The witnesses are Twitch One, Jeff Goldblum's laugh, Kyle's mom, Sweeney, Tetsuna, and Twitch Two. All of these characters have lines. <clears throat> this is clearly easy a court reporter, right? Yep. Okay. The judge says... Do you understand? You're under oath. And Kyle says, Get on with it, because this I loathe. You're present to answer to the people's rant. For so now it has reached this court. You're inefficient at your sport. I promise that their evidence shall be scant. This is Twitch 1. He blocked his well with rows of stone. They justly fell as I have thrown. I'm sure that all of you would do it too. Goldblum's laugh, you may enter. He should have scored more in the center. I promised that my victories would be few. I must beat Waz, this horrid man. Call Mrs. Bossman to the stand. I met him once, and he was a delight. He said to all, without shame, everything must start with games. Mom, can you just tell them that I'm right? Now the gods have come to speak. Thank you, Sweeney. Let me speak. He's innocent. If not, I'll post his bail. Tatsuna, what have you to say? Oh no, I pray this... Um, oh no, I pray he stay this way. I only wish he continue to fail. Another witness has been found. And this one is uh, Twitch 2. I bet on the final round. But he played five more. And robbed me of my prize. Quite fairly. I had won the race to ride Buran out into space. Now punish him and go bring his demise. Charge him for blocking up the well. For the center he's ignored as well. Spare him. Jail him. Arrest this liar. Order is what I desire. Allow me to educate. It's now time to decide his fate. 
I've received all evidence in my file. His banishment is what I need to the hyperbolic room of speed. Case closed on Twitch versus Kyle. Case closed on Twitch versus Kyle. The end. Wow. That was an elaborate poem. Uh, basically, it's about a lot of the stress that I deal with every time I have to do this stream. And then the judge at the end found that I just need to spend more time in the hyperbolic time chamber, which probably is not incorrect. If I got good at high speed, we would be there already. <laughs> it wouldn't be week 49 next week. We would have done this at week 12 if I truly dedicated myself. But what fun would that be? I ask you that. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. We will be back here next Friday. And hopefully the Friday after that and the Friday after that. Maybe we can go, maybe we can finish this. I don't know if we can finish this without breaking the streak. It might happen later on. But I think we're going to have a few in a row. Kyle, check the art. So do we check the art on past that? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That art totally matches. Okay. Uh, inaccurate depiction of my mom, but, I mean, fair attempt. Uh, you see Sweeney and Tetsuna. You see uh, Jeff Goldblum laughing. Uh, those are the Twitch chats. Uh, there's me. Uh, there's my mom. And there is the judge and the hammer, the gavel. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's some good art. Okay, so wait, wait, let me credit that artist again. That comes from Brennan. Okay. Oh, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, we'll be back here next uh, week. However, there is a lot of E3 between now and then that I highly recommend checking out. So, uh, please check that stuff out. Please have a good weekend, have a safe weekend, get lots of rest, don't stay up late, and Love and respect. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to wave at you. I'm going to give you the best music Tetris has to offer. And that's it. You know what? That's it. There's no other end. Kind of like the end of that poem. Just cut it off, Kyle. Don't expect something more. All right. See you later, everybody.